What's up guys, Elijah here with Baseball Express and today we're going to be swinging the 2023 Hype Comp which is the full composite bat in the 2023 uh, Easton lineup. Um, it's actually very, it looks very similar to the Easton Encore Hybrid. It's got the same soft knob to reduce vibration, same connection piece. Only difference is this barrel is full composite, there's no alloy in it. Um, it's actually got their new thermo composite technology so super excited to swing this. Um, see how it compares up to a couple of the other uh, hybrids we've, uh, we've swung in the past couple weeks. But yeah guys, today we're going to be swinging in Arlington on our hit tracks machine here in San Antonio, Texas. So, let's see how it goes. Always got to use that Kraken. Maybe. That's three forty step. Maybe. No, no way. Ninety one. One. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I didn't get it. Would have been a good one. <laughs> Why are these balls going to wrap the pole all day today? 94.5. Oh, 379. Did it go over? No, I hit off the wall. Dude, that deep part has got to be like 390 or something. I was 94, I hit 380. Baby. All right, guys, time to give my final thoughts on the 2023 Easton Hype Comp. Um, yeah, guys, so when I first reached out to Easton and started doing these reviews, this was actually the one that I really, really wanted to try. Um, a lot of their bats in the last two years, their composite bats have had a lot of pop to them, and I was like, I really want to try this one. So we did get the Hype, the, I'm sorry, the Encore Hybrid first. That bat blew me away. This one right up there, right on par with it. Um, for a composite bat, it feels really, really good. Um, and that's coming from a guy who doesn't even like composite bats. Like I've said, in, I've said it a million times before, I'm not a composite guy. But this thing felt amazing. It felt super similar. I mean, the build on this one and the hybrid are like so similar. Like I said in the intro, they've got the same soft knob, um, that rubber core part right here at the top of the, on the cap. Um, and they're pretty much the exact same design the the Easton the kind of the matte finish here with the, the branded here um, and then the the logo at the top of the barrel I mean it just it, it looks clean it looks it looks slick it looks amazing um, on to the performance side of things I, I just for a, for a composite bat like I said not a huge fan of composite bats but this thing felt awesome the barrel um, my only complaint with it, and this isn't really, this is something maybe user, like for me, it's specific to the hitter. Um, and this is something, like I said, it's, it goes with composite bats. If it's not barreled within this whole mat area of the barrel, there's not a lot of, of pop coming off other parts of the bat, which is something you find a little bit different with one piece alloys, is that there's a little bit more forgiveness. This thing is really stiff, but it works to its advantage. I mean, there are some times when I would, you can you really push balls out. Uh, you can really push balls into the gaps. Maybe you didn't square. There's a little. I mean, there's a little bit of forgiveness, but you are going to get more forgiveness on an alloy or a one-piece bat. But that's just kind of one of those things that goes player to player. I mean, everyone's going to find something different. Um, but for the most part, guys, I was really excited to swing this, and it didn't disappoint. Like I've said, I'm really 
really impressed with Easton so far in 2023. Um, I mean, both of this one and the Encore Hybrid have been phenomenal bats. They perform well. One of the things that I will mention, and I think I mentioned it before with a couple of the other hybrid, I'm sorry, a couple more of the composite bats we've swung, is that they are gonna take a little bit of break in time, and that was clearly evident. I think I swung uh, the Marucci one, um, the, the composite Marucci, um, and then I think there was one other one I'm blanking right now. Um, and I, you know, you're told, oh, there's gonna be a breaking period, but those really didn't have a whole lot of break in time that, that was needed. I mean, we were already smashing balls off the get with those. This one was evident it was gonna need a little bit of breaking time. Um, we started off the tee, obviously, we're, you know, we took about 20 to 25 off the tee. Obviously, you're not gonna get a lot of breaking time because there's no real, you know, velo coming from the opposite end of, of, the, of the cage, so it's kind of just all user generated power. Um, so there's not gonna be a lot of break in, you get minimal there. Um, when we started actually in the live BP session, I think we were at like 85 to 87, and then it started to creep up as the session went on. We didn't get into, we didn't get into the mid nineties until the very end of the session. And then we started to break into the mid upper nineties. I mean, I think we hit one in 97, but that was after we had turned the cameras off for like, let's just take a couple more hacks for the, for the hell of it. And we got up to 97, but unfortunately didn't get it on camera. I think the one that we stopped when we got to about 95 is when we kind of cut the, cut the camera because we had already taken, up, I mean, 70 hacks at that point. Um, but yeah, guys, it was very evident that there was going to need to be a break in time for this bat. Not a bad thing. It's pretty, it's pretty standard with composite bats, just with the way that they work. Um, they need a little bit of time to kind of break in the, the technology in the barrel. Um, but other than that, guys, I mean, if you're if you're a composite bat guy, if you're looking for something, this thing is awesome. It performs well. It swings well. It swings super balanced. Like I've said before, some composite bats are tailored for power hitters, and that's something that's kind of been, I guess, stereotyped over the last couple of years, but this thing swings ex extremely balanced. It feels very, very, very close to that hybrid bat, which was also very balanced. And I think Easton really hit the hit the nail on the head with these, man. These are built for two different hitters, but I think they can really go hand in hand with each other. It's really a preference thing. Um, but yeah, the, the only difference I'd say between this one and the Encore Hybrid is gonna be a little bit more stiffness in the barrel itself and a little bit less forgiveness, but other than that, they're pretty damn similar. Um, and both can smash. So yeah, guys, um, actually this bet is now available at Baseball Express, so if you're looking for one, if you're looking to grab it, if you're in a San Antonio area, we've got some demos if you wanna come test it out. Those are probably gonna be more broken in than this one was, so it'll give you a little bit more of a true estimate on how it feels in your hands. Um, but if you're online, you're looking for it, we have these right now online at Baseball Express and in store at San Antonio, Texas, going for four ninety nine ninety five. A little bit steep, in my opinion, four ninety nine for a bat is pretty up there, but it's pretty standard across the board for composites. You got the Marucci composite, that one's four ninety nine. This one's four. I think the Marucci is actually five fifty. Might be, might be mistaken. I could be wrong. I know it's up there, but this one's gonna be going for four ninety nine. Pretty standard for composites, so not way out there, but definitely a good pickup if you're a composite guy. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. We've got a lot more. We've got the new next week. Um, we're going to be reviewing the new Bone Saver Super Pump, and we're going to compare that to the next um, to the Gunner. Both War Sticks bats, both War Stick bats, uh, both 2023 War Stick bats. So Super Pump there. Um, our Wood Bat video actually got compromised. Um, one of the SD cards got a little screwed up, um, so we lost a little bit of footage. So we're going to have to redo that one. We've got some footage. I'm thinking about putting it into a mini review. Haven't decided yet because we do have enough to make like a reel or, or kind of like a mini review on our social platforms. Um, haven't decided yet. I really want to get something out there because I think that's a hot topic in wood bats and people not knowing whether they should spend the 250 on a Vickis Marucci or maybe go with the lower end, um, maybe a Louisville or a Rawlings or something like that on the lower spectrum for about 100 bucks. It's a pretty hot topic that I've been seeing, um, kind of in, in forums and trends. So. We'll keep you updated on that, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and if you're looking to pick up the Easton Encore Hybrid, come to Baseball Express 499. We've got plenty, so thanks for watching, and y'all stay safe out there.